I'm Professor Pedanet from the School of Physics uh, at Nottingham, and I've been at Nottingham for about 15 years, uh, interested in understanding quantum phenomena and exploiting them in useful application. So today I would like to donate uh, to the capsule this object that I called uh, a gasto. So it's a prototype a device that hopefully will be used in future for detecting high frequency radiation for many applications ranging from security or medical applications. So the active region of this device is just at the bottom of this very long wire, which is an antenna. What I have here is a picture of the device uh, which has been amplified uh, one million times. So what it is, it is a super lattice. It's an artificial uh, structure, man-made. Uh, you can see several layers that have size of just few nanometer. And I want to show you now a better image. Okay, this is farther amplified and it has a periodic pattern like that on my shirt. So you can see layer of different color corresponding to different materials and the dark lines correspond to single layer of atoms. And this artificial structure allows us to fine tune the electronic property of this device. In particular, we can launch electrons in this structure and they can perform a very unusual type of motion called uh, block oscillation. An oscillation which is very fast, uh, faster than any computer processor. One of the best times was uh, when I was a researcher working during the weekend in the lab and finding that uh, the device that I just show you was working, was actually working. And, and the realization that there were then opportunity for using this structure for fundamental studies as well as interesting applications. Very proud uh, of this publication because uh, in 2004 it was not only published in Nature but we obtained also the cover on the on the journal. I was able to measure, you see, this uh, current voltage characteristics and able to visualize this feature, these red peaks shown in this plot. The secret in uh, obtaining this curve was be able to use a new type of super lattice design that I proposed uh, two years before this article was, was published. I'm very happy to be a physicist and I feel honored that I have uh, the possibility to, to do research. Uh, there are many other things that uh, I like uh, and I do during, during my hobbies, uh, I like music, I like uh, uh, art and I think uh, that uh, this also com uh, complement uh, what I do in, in, in physics and sometimes they help uh, to uh, develop uh, original new, new idea. Important discovery do not happen all, all the time but it's really important uh, to, to be constant and persistent in the, in the research and I think uh, that is what I've been doing uh, during my during my career in that I'm contributing to, to, to science, uh, to education, and to educate the next generation of scientists. This is a prototype uh, device. Uh, it's not working as I would like, but I hope uh, that in 100 years' time, whoever will open the capsule and look at this object will be able to tell me how wonderful this structure was uh, for a number of interesting applications. I think it's an exciting uh, project. Uh, I wish I could be there in 100 years time, but it's not going to happen, right?